All right, welcome. Today we are going to make a magic tree in the forest. And here's our materials. This is everything you're gonna need. Except your poster board. <laughs> you need some poster board, of course. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create the texture of a forest. And we're gonna do that by spraying some dark green, kind of a military green color almost, a surgical green, I think. And then in a U shape towards the top, because since at the bottom, we're gonna have other stuff. The top is where the sun's gonna shine down through the trees. So we put a U of ivory and then a smaller amount of white inside that. And then take a piece of old poster board, we don't need, crunch it up and brush it across. And there we go, that's the texture of a forest. And we're gonna put some more light at the top because at the top we mostly want light shining down, sun shining in, but those designs are going to be a nice abstract background for a forest. Those are very far away things. So now we're going to make something a little bit closer, our next layer, maybe a fallen tree or some some fallen stuff. And just take that newspaper and quickly slide it in a U shape. And then you can detail a little bit of that with your fingers. You know, fill it in where you want a little bit darker. Make some branches with your spatula. Accent some lines where the sun is hitting that fallen tree still very abstract, a little bit less abstract than the background, but pretty abstract. Okay. So now we're gonna make another layer. Let's get closer. But before we do that, let's, let's put a little bit more light at the top. So we do that by turning our can upside down and hitting it in every single degree of the circle that we're forming forming a circle, just turning that can around and hitting it and hitting it and hitting it and creating the rays of the sun as if the rays are coming from that point. Okay, so now let's make a tree house. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my painter's foam and I'm gonna dip it in some black that I've sprayed on there and I'm gonna just mark out where that tree is gonna go, right in the center of the painting. So it's gonna be a tree with a whole bunch of crazy roots at the bottom. So I just put enough paint on that foam until I, you know, I fill it in enough. I don't want it to be super dark black. I want it to have a little bit of green in it, but I do want it to be in the foreground and be much darker. And it's a little bit of a silhouette because the light, as you notice, is behind it. Now I did get a blob of black paint off to the left. We'll take care of that. We'll put a branch there. No problem. It's a it's a nice, happy accident, as Bob Ross would say. All right, so we're gonna pull some of those roots out of that tree, just with our foam already kind of doodling in where those roots are gonna go. And it doesn't matter if your foam is all covered with paint, you can reuse it since you're using black. So just kind of draw in, block in where you want that tree to go. Make those roots come out. And then if it's not quite dark enough, you can fill it in with a little bit of spray paint, but make sure that you then do a little bit of blending with your fingers or with the foam or whatever. In this case, I'm gonna do it with some newspaper because I wanna make those roots really stand out at the bottom. So I'm using my sliding newspaper techniques and I, what's making those roots is my finger inside the newspaper, directing the newspaper. And then I can refine them a little bit just by using my finger again. And there I'm getting rid of that splotch by making a branch there just with my finger, but I'm gonna go over that with a, a paintbrush and it's gonna look a lot nicer. So I sprayed a little bit of uh, metallic green on that and that uh, turned that very white part of the tree into a nice green color. Metallic green is a very magical color when you're making forests. So I'm just gonna detail that branch a little bit better. Draw it out with my black paint because I want a little darker. I want to make it look really gnarly and weird because it's a little bit of a spooky forest. But it's a magic spooky forest. So make some really gnarly weird branches with your paintbrush and fill in any areas that you feel need to be blended in. And now let's make little windows in the tree because little elves live in this tree. So all I do to make the windows is I take a piece of poster board and I fold it. I can fold it in a curve like that, or I could fold it with a point at the top if I want like an arch. 
and I make some windows and a door with my white paint. But I want these to be a little bit warmer inside, so I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. And I'm just going to go over that again with a little bit of yellow. Now I'm not just going to leave it like this, of course. I'm going to make the window frames and the door frame and I'm going to do that with my paintbrush. All I do is I trace around each window. Make sure I make the, the bottom a nice sill, a nice straight line, and trace around the top in an arch. And that way I get them nice and defined and I can blend them into the tree more if I want to and trace around the door just the same way. So if I want to, you know, just fix up a few things about the roots, I can do that with my black paint. Make that tree stand out a little bit more against the background. Maybe put some, some weird kind of creepy plants around it that are also in the foreground. Make them, I like to make them real gnarly. Use your spatula to make some grass if you want. Or you can make the grass with a, a black paintbrush if you want it all to be a silhouette. I'm just putting a little bit of accent on each windowsill so it stands out. And I'm going to put a little, little stairway on this tree so that the people living in the top floor can get to the bottom. But first I'll, I'll just use a little piece of poster board to, to create some window sills and a little path in front of the door. So all I'm doing is I'm taking a little piece of poster board in my hand and I'm using it to remove paint and wiggling it back and forth and removing that paint from under that window sill. You can use poster board to remove paint and if you wiggle it back and forth it, you get a really interesting texture. But you need just a little bit, just a little corner of that poster board and it, it should be pretty firm. So I'm drawing in some staircases. To learn how to do this you should definitely look at the spatula video because this is a whole technique in itself, drawing with the spatula. The spatula video is available to members of Spray Paint Art Secrets and in the uh, first three, it's one of the first three modules part of that. So I'm just putting a little bit of detail with my spatula and those staircases. And I am using my fan brush to put a little bit of a uh, little bit of foliage around the base of that tree, a little bit of lighter foliage. I'm just dipping it into some white and green together, making like some moss that's creeping up the tree a little bit. And then I'm just going to take my metallic green and I'm going to go over that to kind of blend it into the forest a little bit more. Now I'm going to put some, some magic uh, fairy lights in the forest and there's going to be little little fairies and elves living in each window. So I'm going to put a little, little lights on each one of those. And I'll put some, some bigger ones around, you know. Maybe there's fireflies or magic things happening in the forest. It's amazing how these little touches add so much. And that's a, a larger kind of blurry one with a small one inside of it. Maybe it's got an aura. A little bit more metallic green to blend that in. 
a little bit more light towards the top. And there we go. That's a magic tree house in the forest. Now you can imagine that if you were to do a larger painting and you know do a, a whole scene with several trees and a closer tree, you know you could you could add a like a, a fairy or an elf or some other weird vampiric creature, whatever you want. But this would look real nice on a, on a big canvas. So I invite you to fiddle with it and try it out and see what you come up with and have fun.